Okay, so I finally found a tablet holder big enough for my tablet. It's like a 13 inch uh, Windows based tablet. So it just, the keyboard folds behind. You can see that. Uh, sort of. I can't see what I was looking at there. But, anyways, I've told the camera up here out of the light. But yeah, found that thing. It's on this cool little, like, adjustable thing. That I need to tighten up, but um, that's what I'll be running my Ccom software off of. So there you go. Let me sign in. Hopefully, well, it's pretty dim. Guess I could adjust the brightness up. Lots of glare on this dang thing. Oh, there we go. See, come. And of course, I'm not plugged into the XFI yet. And by the way, you guys are getting way more glare in the camera than I'm getting. So just so you know, it looks a little better in real life without all this glare from the sun out my garage door. But there's the idea. Have that there. XFI is right there so I can see all my lights and everything. And here's me sitting in, at my steering wheel. I'm gonna probably have to run they have the dashboard set up on here and I think I will run I have a an extra port on this for a mini HDMI thing to run from this to a tablet like maybe a little seven inch droid or something that I'll stick in the dash and use a splash top an app called splash top and you, that way I can use it for a second screen and I'll take the dashboard on here, which it's not going to come up. Come on. Oh, the dashboard, or the, it's somewhere on here, on the view. It'll be grayed out since I'm not plugged in and turned on. There we go, the, the gauge panel. Like I said, it won't come up until I have everything plugged in. Still not quite there yet. Got a lot of wiring left. Actually got like all of the car's wiring left to do. There's all kinds of wires hanging down here on my new I did it steering column. And there's part of the this harness goes to the tail lights. This one hanging by my foot. That goes to the tail lights. And I still haven't put all the rest of the harness in here. That let's see if you can see it oh, right over there. That's where my fuse panel bolts in, and all the engine harness and the front headlights and all that stuff harness will go out there, and then comes in here, plugs into the steering column, and goes over here to power radio and all that stuff, which I don't have in here at the moment because it's kind of a race car but there's the idea if I can back up and show you this is about the view I'll have maybe a little bit further back I've got quite a bit more peripheral view than this but there we go I got that to do all my tuning and I'll use the gauge panel on there with and pull mile per hour from the TCU there. I'm going to can link that to these. To my can bus for that. That way my XFI will have the speed sensor and gears and all that good stuff and I'll be able to have a speedometer, tachometer, all that good stuff right there. And I'll probably still just throw my old gauge cluster in which has blinkers out clear out to the side so I'll still be able to see the blinkers and things. Just 
not my big old mechanical ugly speedometer that is no longer useful with a electronic speed output of my 4L80E. Yeah, I got a big mess to clean up, lots of wiring, lots of other things to do. Got to paint those things that I had sandblasted, my inner fenders. And those are the bumper brackets inside of those. And I'm kind of stuck in here because it's not super easy to get in and out with the roll cage. But up there somewhere is my radiator course port that I'm going to paint here in the next few days. So just keeping you all updated. Thanks, like and subscribe. And if you have any requests or anything, I sure would like to fill them because I don't do these videos very often. Give me an excuse.